Nor would strong. That's the message now circulating in the aftermath of Sunday's storms. Not on your sides, Brianna Harper joins us live now to explain how a community effort is now taking things a step further for those flooding victims. Bree. Well, here at Cumulus Media, this is where a donation drive just wrapped up about an hour and a half ago. Now, that all started at 7 o'clock this morning, and I'm told that thousands of dollars worth of donations were collected. But one group of volunteers wanted to do something aside from donating supplies and instead donate their hard work and time. The devastating impact from Sunday's storm is reaching well beyond this Norwood neighborhood. So much so that volunteers all the way from Milford have come to clean up and help out all for free. They don't have nothing. Insurance probably ain't going to do much for them. And uh, some of these people are lower income on a fixed income. And they couldn't afford to have someone come in here and do anything. So that's why we're going to donate some of our time and uh, just help out. Clearing out basements, dumping out debris, and so far they say the response has been priceless. Blessings, blessings. That's what uh, the homeowner here has told me. She said, You come out of nowhere, and sometimes you find blessings when you're not looking for them. But for the owners of cars like this, the search for a blessing is still ongoing. This is how you'll find Franklin Avenue today, but during Sunday's storm. I looked at the window because I was just trying to check on the car because I seen a lot of water coming down here, and then I just see. This, at least three cars almost completely submerged. And that's my only means of transportation to get to school, to get to work, you know, to get the kids to school. So I don't know what we're going to do. We're still waiting to see if, you know, I'm praying by some miracle it'll dry out and start again. <laughs> And while some residents are still left hoping for a new start, others remain thankful for the little help that's available. Now, the city of Norwood is also doing its part to help out. City council members just announced that dumpster fees will be waived and there will be additional pickup days for trash, all to help residents remove some of the damaged items from their homes and their basements. Reporting live in Norwood, Brianna Harper, 9 on your side.